back again to my channel. This is Teacher Morris and I believe in the saying, everything is simple unless you make it complicated. Today's video, we will learn how to interpret the quartile. But first and foremost, please subscribe my channel, Teacher Morris, and hit the notification bell for more updates. Interpreting Quartiles So, what is quartile? Quartiles are a form of percentiles. Quartiles is split the distribution into four. A good way of remembering this is that quartile sounds similar to quarter, which is a fourth. So, in other words, a quartile is divided into four equal parts. For example, of quartile, periodical test. So, periodical test is an example of quartile distribution. Why? Because the periodical test is divided into four equal parts. The first, second, third, and fourth quarter. We have another example of quartile is the four pieces of 25 centavo coin to make it one peso coin, which means one peso is divided into four equal parts. So another example of quartile. How to interpret quartile into percentile? The equivalent for first quartile or lower quartile is 25% in percentile. Second quartile or middle quartile in percentage is 50%. The third quartile or upper quartile is 75%. And fourth quartile or the maximum in percentage is 100%, which means... Um, 25 distribution 25 percent of the distribution are below the first quartile 50 percent of the distribution are below the second quartile and 75 percent of the distribution are below the third quartile and 100 percent of the distribution are below the fourth quartile so we have here an activity to interpret the quartile. So write true if the statement is true, otherwise write false if it is wrong. Write your answer in a separate sheet of paper. So number one, quartile two or middle quartile corresponds to 50%. Is it true or false? Every distribution has four quartiles. Is it true or false? The third quartile is also called the lower quartile. Is it true or false? If your weight is in the third quartile, then 25% of your classmates weigh lighter than you. Is it true or false? Number five, if your score in a test is in the first quartile, then 75% of your classmates got a score lower than yours. Is it true or false? Number six, in algebra test, the third quartile score is 30. It means that the students should answer at least 30 items correctly to pass the test. Is it true or false? Number seven, in a test, if every student's score is in the first quartile, then everybody surpassed the passing mark, which is 75%. Is it true or false? Number eight, Gloria got 25 in a test. If this score corresponds quartile one 
or first quartile, then 75% of her classmates got a higher score than her. Is it true or false? Number 9. A farmer planted 20 kinds of plants. If each plant will bear 20 fruits, then the total num number of fruits is between the first and the second quartile of the average harvest every year, which is 1,000 fruits. Is it true or false? And number 10, the result of the survey shows that in every 100 households, 60 of it have dogs. The number of households without dogs is between the second and the third quartile. Is it true or false? So those are the activities which will help you to understand more about quartile. So these are the answer K for the previous activity. So number one is true, two, true, number three is false, number four is false, number five is false, six true, seven false, eight true, nine true, and ten false. So that's the answer for the previous activity. How about if we will have to solve for quartile? So we have here an example of par problem. Quartile formula with example. So example, find the quartiles Q1, Q2, and Q3 of the following data. So Q1, Q2, and Q3 are first quartile, second quartile, and third quartile of the following data, 20, 30, 25, 23, 22, 32 and 36. So first step is we have to arrange the data in ascending form. So we have here from ascending form or from gr from smallest to greatest number. So 20, 20, 30, 22, 23, 25, 30, 32, and 36. A total of um, 7 odd number. A total of 7 data. So our formula for quartile 1 is um, Q1 is equals to 1 fourth times N or the total number of data. So quartile 2 formula is 2 over 4 times N. And quartile 3 is um, 3 fourth times N or the total number of data. So first is the quartile 1. So 1 fourth times 7. 7 is the total number of data. So 1 fourth times 7, 1 fourth times 7 is equals to 1.75 or the answer is 2. So from the first data, we have to count 1 and 2. So first data here is 20 and the second is 22. Falls under the data 22. So our quartile 1 is 22. So in other words, the data 22 and 20. 20 falls under the distribution of quartile 1. So quartile 2, um, the formula is 2 4 times n. So 2 4 times n is equals to 3.5 or quartile 2 is equals to 4. So from the first data, we have to count 1 to 4. So 1 is 20, 22, second, 23 is 3, 25 is 4. So um, under the fourth data is 25. So um, 25 below or 20 to 25 datas are falls under the distribution of quartile 2. And so the, num the quartile 3. So that's for how to solve the quartile. 
So that's all for how to interpret quartiles. So quartiles is divided into four equal parts. Thank you for watching, guys.